Hi, so we are at the suite of Tectonic, our partners, and we will have a look of what's new this year, what they bring to the CES as a news. Can you tell us a little bit, Paul, about uh, what's uh, here, the news that you have on this desk? Yeah, sure. So uh, if you follow me over here to the table, um, what we're displaying here uh, is, we call this the IC654. Um, it features our uh, new BMR54 drive unit. Uh, it's about a two and a half inch driver in a one liter enclosure with a port. Uh, and the primary purpose of this is to be used in distributive audio, distributed audio. Yeah, um, sure. And so we've, we've designed this uh, to work passively uh, with the transformer uh, so we can maintain uh, the speaker uh, protection um, without having the additional cost of electronics. Um, so this, one, this one's very good. Uh, the uh, sensitivity is about 85 dB. Uh, the driver is a 25 watt uh, yes. drive unit, uh, so it can it can take some power. Um, we're introducing also uh, different form factors uh, for our other drive units. Uh, as you see right here, we have a BMR 28 in a in a light switch box. Yes. Uh, the Nice idea, yeah, to bring audio on the light speed device. Yeah, and the, the thing is, is a, a lot of companies like Nest uh, or any of the smart home products, yep. uh, they want to they want to feature audio in their in their devices, and so uh, we kind of have a unique proposition because by putting it in the wall, we can take advantage of the of the uh, the two pi space, uh, and we yes. can get additional output, uh, and we maintain the wide directivity of BMRs, so everyone who's in the room will get the same consistent audio yes. um, and yes. so uh, the uh, the end users won't be experiencing the power beaming um, of a conventional drive unit I see. I see. Um, and so we have a, the similar the similar idea just larger it's the uh, it'll have more output um, but same concept you could put it on the wall uh, and this would be uh, more more room filling of course it's a larger yeah. drive unit uh, more power uh, but it's it's just the kind same kind of idea. It's like how do we how do we take uh, our BMR and deliver good consistent yeah. sound to yeah, sure. the end users uh, in different parts of their home? And if we move to the soundbar, sure. Yes. Uh, so this uh, this soundbar here is called the uh, the Katana soundbar. Uh, it features our BMR twenty eight drive unit. The the purpose was to uh, display an industrial design concept of a very slim soundbar that you could place under the TV and looks uh, very, very sleek. Yes. Um, so that's and, the first generation? And this yeah. is the first generation. Uh, as we, we are continually developing uh, a drive unit that we call a high aspect ratio uh, driver, we call it the HARP. And uh, it will take this form factor and cut it uh, and reduce the height by about 30%. Yes. Um, and so we, it'll still maintain the, the wide directivity and the performance that BMR delivers over the long axis and over the short axis. Um, but it, we can just reduce the form factor. And uh, at the end of the day, we want to enable industrial uh, designers to be able to express their, uh, their design language uh, more freely. Uh, in some cases, we've talked to clients and um, we say, okay, we can, we can now remove a tweeter and some amplifier channels, so we're reducing your cost. But at the end of the day, what is uh, really beneficial to them is like we could give them back 70 cc of, uh, of envelope that they can now reduce the height of the product they can now move things in different uh, locations uh, and so that's really that's one of the benefits that we really want to uh, emphasize this year perfect so thank you uh, now we will move to the next demo the bmrk the real news from the cs here